All right, you guys. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. You, you, you can't actually see me right now. It's dark. It's six in the morning. And I'm about to drive to the biggest rock in the world, Ayers Rock. But it's not to go as a tourist. It's not to go look at the rock. It's actually to catch a flight. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit down the road. I've got, I've got 500 kilometers to travel. That's about 300 miles. Um, and I'm gonna jump on a plane to go and attend my first ever football training We're doing it today. Today is Wednesday the August the 15th guys. It's taken over three months Since the start of this YouTube or the start of this journey into American football for me to actually pull the pin Pull the trigger should I say book a ticket and go and attend one and see what it's all about because I can't keep sitting up here waiting wondering watching and not doing it myself, I just can't do it. So basically guys, I've taken a hit to the to the hip pocket. I've paid, I'm gonna pay petrol going there to Ayers Rock to catch a flight. I'm gonna catch a flight down to Melbourne, stay there for four nights, come back to Ellis, and continue with my life. Now this weekend is very important. Not only do I have a training tonight, but hopefully, fingers crossed, if you can see that, I'll actually be playing a game this weekend, which is fucking phenomenal, mate. I can't wait. I cannot wait. And you know what, guys? I decided early on, I decided, well, this morning actually, I'm going to go down to practice tonight and I'm going to put my hand up to play, but I'm not going to put my hand up for any position. I'm going to let the coach do that. You guys have told me that. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to go in there with any expectations. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to expect the worst, hope for the best, and see what happens. So that's what we're doing, guys. The reason I'm flying out of Ayers Rock, of all places, is because... If I was going to fly out of Alice, I only booked these flights like a week ago. Um, if you're flying out of Alice Springs and you want to book a flight a week in advance, you're going to be paying like $500 a ticket. That was going to be a thousand bucks. What I've been able to do is find the tickets for $450. Return, $400 for the accommodation, $200 for the car. That's $1,050. So by my books, that's a cost I'm willing to take. And I'll see you guys at Ayers Rock in about four hours. Peace. We've got light. We've got a lot of light actually, I'll show you. Probably about 100 kilometers down the road, or uh, 70 miles, and it is an absolute stunner of a morning. And we're in the absolute middle of nowhere. <laughs> but that's what it's like around here, so I thought, guys, I thought I'd just jump out of my car now before I, you know, really head down the road and say, fuck it, I'm not stopping anymore. So um, this is where we're at on the South Stewart Highway, heading from Alice Springs to Adelaide. And in about a hundred more kilometers, I'm gonna take a right turn to Ayers Rock. And it sounds as if someone's coming, so, I'm about, I've finished my coffee, I'm about to crack open a, a drink of orange juice, which will be my breakfast of champions this morning. I've got some bananas, I've got some bagels. I wanna start eating up, I wanna have some energy when I get to that training which is literally in about 10 hours. So I'm gonna be at my first football training in 10 hours, guys. <laughs> it's fucking happening, man. I can't believe I'm actually traveling so far to make this happen, but that's the shit that I'm prepared to do, man. This is not, this is not fucking playing games anymore, man. I've got to get to training, I've got to actually experience this sport, so then I can't get called out for it anymore. And also, you know, this is for me, this is for me. And the one car that I'm going to see today just went past. No, that's not true actually. There's a lot of cars that go from Alice Springs to Ayers Rock. So, it's definitely time. This, this journey, this journey's about to go full circle guys, and then on from there. So, what I'm led to believe is that, or should I talk about it later? No, I won't talk. Look, basically guys, this is fucking exciting. The running back that plays for Australia, plays for this team that I'm going to be going and seeing tonight. There's 70 teams in Australia. This is one of them. And it's probably the most prestigious, from what I'm, I'm led to believe. So, there's nothing left to do but to do it, guys. I'll see you in a couple of hours. We have got a helicopter in the building. There she is, coming into land at Ayers Rock Airport. 
and that's exactly where we are. Now, first thing to note, on the way here, I received a text message from Qantas saying that my flight is delayed two hours and 20 minutes, which means that I'm flying out of here at 2.30 and it's 11 o'clock, so I've got three and a half hours to kill now. That's not the problem. The issue we've got here, guys, is that I arrive into Melbourne not at 4 anymore, but at about 6, or actually 5.40, they've told me. So I, I arrive into Melbourne at 5.40. I've got at least an hour's worth of uh, travel in my hire car that I need to go pick up first. I need to get changed. I need to get through fucking luggage. Get in the car and go straight to this football training, which starts at 6.30. I thought I'd be able to go to my Airbnb, check in, put my stuff down, get changed, you know, have something to eat and go. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, yeah, we're going to be pushed for time. And if there's any more delays, I'm not going to be able to make that training. And that means that this 500 kilometer drive, this 1,000 mile plane journey, no, probably about 1,500 miles actually, and another hour drive to the training is not going to be worth it and all of the shit that I've organized, everything I've put into this trip is not gonna be worth it because I won't make the training. And in which case I probably won't have a chance to play the game on the weekend. So, I don't, I don't quite know what to say about that. I'm gonna to go to the training. I might not make it for the start. I'll definitely be there for the end of it so I can, I can meet the coaches, I can introduce myself and hopefully, you know, stake my claim to be on that field come Saturday. So that's what we're gonna do, we're here in it airs rock. You think Alice Springs is isolated? <laughs> airs rock is even more so. So, as you'll see a lot around here, we've got the red dirt, the blue sky, and nothing much else. I think the terminal is over there. There's literally nothing here, guys. I don't even know if there's a cafe. I don't even know if there's somewhere to buy a drink. So I'm gonna go check it out. But um, Fucking Qantas, eh? No, it's not even Qantas, it's Jetstar. Fucking Jetstar. They could have told me earlier so I could have slept in. Anyways, I don't like complaining too much. You know what? If, if all worst comes to worst and I don't even make it there today, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I'll go there next week. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a couple of hours when we're closer to boarding the plane. Peace. All right, guys. So I thought I'd flick on the, I think we might be all right. I've just been in contact with the coach. They've told me to come down at seven o'clock. It's seven till 9.30 guys. The training finishes at 9.30 at night. And it's cold, it's winter at the moment. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what kind of training, I don't know what is gonna take two and a half hours, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. They said, yep, come down and meet the coach and hopefully we'll get your training ASAP. Cause obviously I'm thinking I'm just gonna jump in there and, and start running drills like, like I'm just down at a rugby practice, but the reality is is that I've got a steep learning curve. So I'm probably gonna go down there, I'm gonna meet the coach, shake his hand, and just watch for a little bit until I'm comfortable enough to possibly um, you know, join in. That's how I see it happening. So anyways, with timing, we've been delayed. We're leaving here at three o'clock in tea time. Three o'clock we leave, we arrive in Melbourne two hours and 40 minutes later, which is actually... How are you guys? What is going on? <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I'm in my Airbnb. We got here. But I didn't make it to football training. The plane was not delayed two hours, it was delayed four hours. So I arrived into Melbourne at 8.35 p.m. this evening and training started at 7 and finishes at 9.30. So effectively the training is pretty much wrapped up right now. Um, it'd be at least another hour for me to travel there from where I am now. So you know, I've got two ways of looking at it guys. Two ways of looking at it. I fucking shelled out a lot of money and the first and foremost, the most important thing that I had to do whilst I was here, which was attend that training, I missed. So, what do you, look, there's one thought that keeps running through my head and I have to tell you guys this. 
I have to explain it to you because I need to get it out. I need to <clears throat> speak it. And that is that everything happens for a reason, guys. Everything happens for a reason. I'm in contact with the team through text message. The, re the, the only reason why I have actually messaged them back and forth so much today is because of the fact that I was going to be late. So because I was late, I started getting in contact with them. That's the first thing. The second thing is that I was going to be late, but I was just going to make it. And to be honest, with the way that the airport set out now thinking about it, how long it took me to get my car, uh, you know, what the traffic's like, it would have been even worse before. So me thinking I was probably going to be about 15 minutes late might have turned into, no, actually I was, going to, I was probably going to be there about 15 minutes early, which was probably going to turn into about 15, maybe 30, maybe even 45 minutes late. So I'd be rushing, 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 trying to get off the plane, into the car, over there, get change, everything, and then I still wouldn't even be there on time. And the one thing I didn't want to do is turn up late to my first practice. Everyone's already run around, everyone's already warmed up, already said hello to each other. I want to be there, as the new guy, I want to be there first. As everyone comes to the training and says hello to everyone, I want to already be there. I want to say hello, introduce myself from the start, you know. I didn't, want to have to, I didn't want to have to rush and I didn't want to get there late. I'd rather not go at all than get there late, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. And so with that said, those are the reasons why this has happened. But really, I mean, I could have had no delays whatsoever, got on my plane like I was meant to, had time, and made it to my training, but it just wasn't to be. It wasn't to be today, guys. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking about this day for weeks, mate. I've been thinking about this particular day here in Melbourne. It's 9.30 now. I would have just finished my first training and I would be able to come home, open the camera and talk to you guys. <laughs> you, you saw how excited I was, man. You know how excited I am. And I would be able to come home after my training and talk to you guys and explain how, I, how what I thought and how it went. And unfortunately, today's just been a huge letdown. Really? But at least I've vlogged it. You know, I'm all about being as open and honest and transparent as possible, whatever happens in my life. If it's suitable for YouTube, of course. So, I don't even know what to say, man. I honestly don't even know what to say. Tomorrow is another day. That's what I'm gonna say. Everything happens for a reason. I wouldn't have wanted to get to that training late. I've talked to them now. There is a spot in the team for me if I want it. So I'm just going to have to do my very best to get to that game on Saturday. Make sure that they know that I'm playing. Make sure that they know I want to play, which they do. So I've got to just do my best to get to the game. So with that said, I, I miss my daughter. It's cold here in Melbourne. I'm by myself. And you know, usually I wouldn't care, but the fact that I've had that disappointment about missing the um, the training, it's really sort of given me a bit of a bit of a made me feel a little bit depressed, to be honest. So I don't know when this video is going to come out. Probably in about a week. Hopefully, I have played my first game of football by that time, and I can tell you about it. But unfortunately, tonight I can't tell you about training. And I was really, really looking forward to it too. I was going to give it my absolute all. Oh well, <laughs> it'll have to be Saturday. So in the meantime guys, if you have liked this video, you want to support me in my journey, please press like. If you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, please do. And I'll see you guys back here for another video very soon. I've actually got a meeting tomorrow that I'm going to tell you about. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you about that in the morning. For now, <sighs> I don't even know. Peace out.